Hey guys, we are about to have some fun. We're going to be recapping Big Brother Season 25, y'all. We're going to be recapping this. This is going to be a new show on the playlist. So subscribe to stay tuned. Like, share, and subscribe. And you guys... I'm going to call this episode, you know, this episode needs a title for me. I don't know why I don't like to give titles to these episodes. But I'm going to call it, Do Not, and I repeat, Do Not Mess With The Girl With The Butterfly Tattoo. And that's Miss Ma'am, Miss Ma'am over here, Miss Riley. I'm calling it out early. She's going to make it close to the end, if not win the damn thing. But before we jump in... To that, let's get into this. Let's have some fun. I'm going to share with you guys the cast. So let's say bye to Miss Riley. So here's our cast. Whoop. Let me move out the way for them. So this is our cast. And we have a lot of firsts in this season. We have our first Seek. We have our first... <laughs> funny duo which is gonna be the country boys but let's get into more i'm gonna highlight some of the ones that i thought that stand out in this episode um this season is gonna be full of surprises they're gonna keep us on our toes you know miss julie chen is not playing with us this season every time they say it's gonna be the a better season than last season and they always know what they're doing so let's get a little bit into the episode so y'all Woo! What do you guys think of the first episode, second episode? What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments down below. But y'all, I am so gagged. First, I gotta address this. Miss Riley, the way Miss Ma'am held on for dear life, y'all. She held on for dear life in her challenge. I thought she was gonna be one of the first to let go but she held on this show you cannot come with the nails you can't come up on with the nails with none of that you have to come with your nails chopped off to hold on to do some work because she held on she was the only girl in her challenge and it was Corey who let go allowing for her to pass through the next phase the next step but the way she held on so calmly i'm like hmm do not underestimate that girl. Do not underestimate that girl. So I really was thinking, wow, Riley, she's the one to keep an eye on. So after the house guys completed the challenges, they walked into the house. And who did they saw? Not a legend. Not a legend, but they saw Miss Ma'am, Miss Serial. Here she is. Here she is. So, Miss Siri, she was on Survivor, and she had a really amazing season. I mean, she's one of the girls they know that she can really get what she wants, manipulate, manipulate the situation, get what she wants. And, you know, as a surprise, we get to find out that her son is actually participating in Big Brother 2 as well. And for me, I did not understand how no one can think, or at least most of the people didn't see the family resemblance like they look alike i would have said some comment as in oh you and miss siri look alike are you? i know you guys are not related but y'all look alike i would have caused so much suspicion and that would have probably had my butt sent home by miss siri herself okay because these two they look alike they look like family no the eyes the way they smile they look like they look related okay so she is the 17th house guest onto the show okay guys so that's her son no one knows everything is cute everything is fine for me if i was a house guest i would pretend that i don't know even if i do know because First, you got to kind of see how everything's going to play out, where the pieces are going to fall, if they're naturally going to come to you. This is a great way you could kind of test if they're being honest with you by how the information is given uh, by one and the other, by the mother and the son. But there's always going to be that one person who's a fan. And not just a Nikki fan, but a Siri fan. We have Miss Izzy. Oh, that's not Izzy. Hold on one second. I messed that up. Pause. Let's take a pause. That's not easy. That's, by the way, our first seek in the Big Brother house, but that's not Izzy. Let me correct that. Let me put this on pause. 
There we go. There is Miss Izzy. Not Miss Izzy. She's the fangirl. And she was super excited to see Siri there. But she made sure to pull Jared to the side and say, You are Siri's son. You are her son. And I'm like, Izzy, this is early in the game. You cannot do that. That could put a threat to you. So, of course... Of course, Jared is like, no, you have to swear to secrecy. You have to swear to secrecy. Don't tell anyone. I, it's a secret. So, of course, Izzy is like, yes, of course. I'm not going to tell anyone. I got your back all the way. And, uh, you know, this creates a problem. Because, of course, Jared, the game just started. No one wants to leave first. Second... He wants to do this with his mom. They want to run this game and do this to the end. So he doesn't want to feel like, you know, the secret is exposed. It's called out. And now him and his mom is not safe. So naturally, what you're going to see happen is that Izzy is going to be part of this alliance in some sort of way, some sort of capacity. Even Izzy stays like, Izzy feels like, oh, I got control over Siri and Jared. And I'm like, girl, you got control over nobody. If anything, you got to be careful, Miss Ma'am, Miss Siri. Like, that's not anyone to just play with like that. So this is, was such a premature move to do, which kind of made me feel like Izzy, if she doesn't play her game right, she may be eliminated out. In her mini challenge, she was one of the early ones to win in her challenge but we haven't seen much what she can do so it's so early on and i'm like wow this is this is a tough one so obviously now jared has to talk to his mom to let her know what just went down so when jared talks to siri he calls her mom in front of izzy and immediately the mom is like why are you calling me mom in front of izzy and he pretty much tells her straight out saying she knows, but she has her back. And so Izzy, she is pleading her case to Siri to let her know, to have confidence in her that she has their back. But you know, the mom is still seeing it as a problem. I'm seeing it, this as a problem. So when she goes to the diary, the diary room, she shares and says that, you know, on her agenda, she has to make... Izzy feel confident with her and Jared to protect them as they will protect her, maybe. And then two, she has to get Jared off the chopping block. Um, to recall, um, in the first episode, Jared was one of the four people who are now up for nominations. So now, Miss Siri, knowing this information, she has to work 10 times hard to make sure to protect her son, protect herself, so they can further advance in the game. So this is going to be interesting. I wonder how Izzy is going to use this information in the future. And also, we don't know if anyone else knows in the house that these two are related. Like, if they're super friends of the show Big Brother, I'm pretty sure those faces look familiar. So we'll see. So, of course, now everything's on the hush-hush. We'll see how things move forward. But now Izzy is promising Jared that she's going to help him get off the block. So, now the house guests are getting to know each other. And we get a surprise return. We thought he was the nether region. But I guess he's back from the nether region. And that is Corey. So, let me move over to the side. Say hello to Corey. Corey is back. And he's supposed to be one to watch. But we haven't seen what he's giving. Because he's supposed to be a persuasive kind of guy. Confident man. He's he's won so many competitions. But we haven't seen as much as gameplay in this episode because he just got came back. So he comes back with a message. He shares with the group that the next person who's taken to the nether region may have to stay a little bit longer away from the game. So we don't know what this means, but it's not good. I don't want to be the one to be sent to the nether regions. So he is back. And he is ready to play this game as much as possible. So we first have to have our first volunteers of the have-nots. We have Jared, Corey, Luke, and his son as volunteers. And what that means is that anyone who's in the have-not situation, they every time they're in the room and they have to leave the room, 
they have to spin a wheel and this wheel will determine the amount of number of times a boot has to hit them in the butt. So it's a little bit embarrassing, but it is part of the game. Okay, so you don't want to be part of the have nots, but it seems like everyone has to take their turns in doing so. So let's talk about the connections because they are talking, they are plotting, and I'm seeing the connections that are being built. Okay, so first, immediately I see a simple, easy connection that you can do while you're on the show it's just being someone's friend so we have jag and riley so let me move over i gotta move over move over move over so we have jag and riley they form a connection and it's a genuine connection i i see it as true friendship because they bond over juggling and pretty much laughing at jokes so that's a good connection to have for the both of them it makes them look like real friends that they can trust each other and trust is built with some sort of foundation of some sort of friendship so it's good to see this as a duo so we next have of course i thought this was a funny duel we have uh right we have red over here there's red and then cameron now these two they are bonded because let me put away miss siri miss siri we hope you'll be back you are in charge of this game so we'll see you again but let's let's let we gotta see these two now these two not much happened in the show is you gotta go girl you in everybody's business bye so uh red and cameron these two they didn't have much going on into the show but they do have a bond because they relate on being country boys so I feel like everyone's underestimating them. Not too many people hang around them because they don't really do much. But I'm gonna keep my eyes on them because those country boys, they're always up to something, right? They're always up to something. So we'll keep an eye on that connection. And we have another connection forming is that we have we have our show crush. Are we are we gonna have a crush, a showmance this season? So let me pull up the showman so let me i want to know what you guys think do you think matt is our crush for the season is he our heartthrob i mean what's impressive about him is he is a golden olympics whatever that means <laughs> it's impressive and I know that for swimming, by the way, and he does have records, but he is our heartthrob. He is our cutie patootie in for this season, for now, because we're going to have more guests, so we got to stay tuned, stay open-minded. But right now, Matt, you are the moment. And he has the biggest little crush on our girl, on our girl, Riley. He said he loves blondes. He said he loves them blonde. So he is feeling her. I don't know if she's feeling him. That's yet to be determined. But we possibly have a showmance, which is good and bad at the same time. Because you don't want it to be so outright that people see that connection that you're vibing with someone, that you trust them. So therefore, we have to get rid of you. But this is good for Riley because she has this guy all into her. And she could get information from him, and that makes her our golden girl, our season diamond. Okay, so so far, Riley, she's she has quite a connection. Riley, she has um right now, Matt. She has Jag. So we'll see. She has she develops a few more too as well, and it's natural, which is really good and dangerous for the other people. Okay. So bye, Jack. So this is possibly will be our showmance. Um, we have Siri and Jared naturally. Duh, of course. So let's get to them. So Jared and Siri are naturally going to be in alliance because they're mom and son. And so, you know, these two are running information with each other and they do collect information. So interesting enough. Mm. so siri she's on her son she's the one who runs the show she's on top of her son to make sure that he cleans up the connections he have particularly with luke and his son 
um, because she felt like her son was being a little bit messy. Now, what we learn is that Kristen, she formulated an alliance with five people. Riley, Luke, Jared, and uh, um, they're called, and, and Matt, and it's called the P5. I didn't know what the hell it was. It's called the P5. Um, it's not a sound alliance. It's pretty much these five happen to be together in the same room. And she was like, okay, let's just be alliance. So then Kristen, let me pull her up, girl. She is fabulous. She is too cute. Hold on. Let me pull her up. So this is Kristen. Let me pull up her crew that is supposed to be her crew. One moment. Let me put this on pause. So, mind you, Kristen has an alliance of five people. Matt, Riley, Luke, and Jared. But then, she gets sneaky, and she wants to rally to the older people in the Big Brother's house. Let's be careful how we talk about this, because this was so disrespectful, so wrong. So, she, you know, she makes her case to Velocity and says to her, Oh, you know, typically... They get rid of the older people first in Big Brother. Let's change things up and let's protect. Let's have girl power. Let's form a group. So this is supposed to be with Kristen and Velocity. And then Kristen was going to take this to Siri. This is Miss Velocity over here. Take this to Siri as a possibility now miss siri she doesn't want to make too many promises outright she's you know she was more hesitant to this alliance than miss velocity miss velocity she wanted to be in alliance with somebody to save herself but miss siri she is very cautious on who she's aligning herself she does like christian at first she thought she was sweet and cute i thought she was sweet and cute too but miss christian she is doing too much she is doing too much now when miss siri talks to her son about a possibility with christian <sighs> Immediately, Jared is like, no, we cannot trust this girl. We cannot trust this girl because she's playing too hard too soon. And he shares alliance that she was trying to formulate with the other four people. And Miss Siri is like, well, I'm not part of this alliance. And she just feels like Christian's trying to run game on game, okay? You're trying to run game on game. So Siri, she goes, tells philosophy about this and her face mama i felt for her she felt i i felt her face she felt good she felt hoodwink her heart felt looked so disappointed like her face it was giving disappointments she's like really she really tried to play that card on me huh this one from dominicana really girl I felt for her in that moment. And that's when everyone knew what was up. So to me, I was a little concerned for Miss Christian. Because Christian was doing too much too soon. And she is about to be exposed. So guys, now that we have our nominees, we need a head of household. But interesting enough, the head of household will not have to put on two people because we already have the four. Instead, they will be given the power to save two that's on the block, okay? So this is very important, but even though it's so important, the players who are able to play, they're not that interested in winning head of household so soon, so quick, okay? So it's interesting that no one wants to rush, but I get it. Um, there's no need to win head of household if you're not on the chopping block. You're safe, at least for this week so far. But we do have some people who do play to win, and that is Miss Blue. Miss Blue, Miss Blue, Miss Blue. I like her name, Blue. Blue is excited to be a player in this game. She wants to win and show everyone her skills, that she got this. She is that girl, okay? And also, Riley, she wants to play to show people how tough she is. And I can respect the girl power. But the rest of them, they were not playing at all. They were not playing to win. They did okay, but not too much. Now, America... She's another one I feel like we got to watch. Because America, when it came to her challenge, the first challenge that she did, she did she was the first to complete her puzzle. She did amazing. She did it so quick. But 
She's being strategic. She doesn't want to show the people that she's smart, okay? So America, she is holding her cards to her heart. And she's like letting, you know, the others win this game and say they can have this one. So Blue was trying her hardest. But at the end, Riley is our winner. She is that girl for the first episode and the second episode. And I think she's the one to watch. Don't play with her. Don't play with her. Don't play with her. The girl with the butterfly tattoo. So she is the head of household. So y'all, y'all know what happens when we have a new head of household. Everybody's gonna try to talk to me. Everybody's gonna try to talk to me. First, we have Velocity. Velocity, she has to talk to because she's on the chopping block. She is not safe. She goes over and talks to Miss Riley and shares to Miss Riley, you know, there's someone in here that we can't trust. And, you know, Velocity, she's not playing Clue. She's not, you know, dancing around the topic. She immediately exposes. And she exposes Miss Christian, okay? She exposes Christian and throws her under the bus. She's under the bus, y'all. Under the bus. And even Riley was trying to play along. She was like, does her name start with a K? But, you know, Velocity, she got straight to the point and exposed Miss Christian. So, girl, we haven't even seen all your outfits she was fierce. I enjoyed watching a pretty face, y'all. So, he may be out. She may be out. So, after hearing what Riley has to say, you know, she takes that into consideration. And Velocity, she, she you know, she says her piece and hopefully she gets to stay. But then, Riley, she goes and talks to Siri, okay? She talks to Siri to get some insight. She respects her, you know... I would too, cause she's an OG. She knows the game. She knows the hustle. So let's let's get a talk with Miss Siri. Now Miss Siri, you know she knows the tea. She knows the information, and she got ha kind of have a bad taste in her mouth left by Miss Christian, cause Christian tried to run game on her. Now they talk, and there's a consensus that Christian, that girl got to go. That girl got to go, and it's super clear. And Riley has that as a consensus, okay? So Jared is a part of this equation too as well, okay? So he's he's on the block, the chopping block, but he's doing the work to get himself off the chopping block. So he promises Riley that he will protect her if he saves her and that he could keep Siri and F F Velocity from coming for her. So that is appealing, and that sounds good to Miss Riley. So Miss Riley knows what she got to do, okay? She not already know what she got to do, um, that is get rid of Christian, for sure, because we have a consensus. We have multiple people who don't like Christian. So if she was to save or help out Christian, those people will not like her as well. Now, the deal with Jared is interesting and appealing to Riley because he is promising protection from uh, with Siri and Velocity. So, Velocity will have C uh, Riley's back. Siri will have Riley's back. Jared will have Riley's back. That's an appealing deal. So, automatically, we know that Siri got the job done and Jared will be safe. I know that for a fact. Now, who else is she going to save? Well, you, you do know, you do realize that Jared, he's also on the chopping block. Jared, where you at? Jared, you were in the nether regions, and now you were just hiding from me. Where are you? Oh, there you go. You're right behind me. Sorry, my bad. So we have Jared. No, it's not Jared. We have Corey, and he's also up for elimination. He tries to talk to and persuade Riley, but he wasn't persuading enough for me. I felt like, sir, you said you were persuasive. I'm not seeing it yet. You know, Riley tries to use him as a pawn, but he didn't want to be a part of that. <laughs> so he tries to say to Riley, like, Riley, if you save me, I won't put you in a vulnerable position if I'm head of household. So ultimately, when we get to the whole situation, well, let's put up all our four people that's up elimination so we could do this dramatic. Even though we know what's the situation, I just want to do it for the dramatics, okay? So pause. So this is our four that are on the block. Corey, Jared, Christian, and Velocity. And we have head of household, Miss Riley, the girl with the butterfly tattoo. And she decides to save Jared, which was a duh, no-brainer. But 
it's interesting to me. She, I thought she would save Velocity, but instead she saves Corey. And I get her point. I, it just hit me right now. She didn't have to save Velocity right now. She was guaranteed by Jared that Siri and Velocity will have her back. So now, to sweeten the deal, she wants to have Corey to have her back too. So that puts our girl Riley in the perfect position to stay safe and move further down in the competition. Now, after this vote, Miss Christian, she was not happy. Our baby was not happy. I was a little bit sad because I want to see her looks. I hope she serves. <laughs> oh, my God. So she's disappointed because she felt like Riley was a part of her alliance or so-called alliance. But it wasn't really established. And I don't think this will affect Riley in the long run because especially if she has information that christian was trying to develop alliances with everybody you just don't do that i think that will keep riley safe now i don't know what miss ma'am gonna do to get herself out of this one i don't want to see none of them leave but one of them has got to go and i don't think velocity is gonna go i think velocity has a good chance of staying is truly 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 christian here in jeopardy but we get to find out on Wednesday when we get to see a new episode of Big Brother to see what happens next. So I want to know what you guys think of the situation. I feel like our girl Riley, she is doing it. And it was her birthday too. I said, girl, you did that on your birthday. That means she's a Leo. That's giving Leo energy and she is killing it. That's good for her. I'm proud of Riley, especially in that first and second episode. She really did that. So I have her leading the whole thing, but it's too soon to call. I'm sure I'll have new favorites, but we'll see. I want to know what you guys think. Tell me what you guys feel, how the elimination should have went down. Was it a right call? What do you think about everybody's gameplay? And do you think Corey is the real puppet master to be worried about i don't know he's still a baby we haven't seen much but we'll give him a chance to showcase his skills so guys do not forget to like share and subscribe and as always share as much kindness as possible okay i'll see you guys soon for wednesday after wednesday for a recap of big brother episode four and of course i'll have a title for you guys because it needs to give it needs to serve so that was it see you guys soon goodbye